everyone, and thank you for joining us today at the Taubman Museum of Art for an Art Spotlight. My name is Katrina, and I have guests here, Dr. Patrick Shaw Cable, the museum's chief curator and deputy director of exhibitions and collections. Thanks for joining me. Hello. Um, so today we're in our permanent collection exhibition called Outside Eyes, which is a great exhibition of the works in the museum's collection in which we brought in individuals from the community to give their viewpoints on which is really interesting. Um, and the piece we're looking at today is this one here by Pierre Adara. Um, so uh, it's my understanding, Patrick, that Pierre was born in Spain and he studied art in Spain but also in France as well. Yes. And he was part of a particular group. Yes, in France, he and other colleagues founded Cercle et Café, which is literally circle and square. And as the name implies, it was really a group focused on geometric hard edge abstraction and the principles thereof sort of in the tradition of Malevich or Mondrian, but they really wanted to focus on that. And of course, uh, Pierre Dauer necessarily didn't stay consistent throughout his career. For example, his later work, his self-portrait, you can see it's a figurative work, but at the same time he's using a lot of the modernist elements, such as uh, decorative color, simplification that he used in his abstract work earlier. Very interesting. So while he was born in Spain and studied in France, he still considered a little bit of a local artist, right? Yes. Uh, uh, that's because his wife was... Uh, from he met his, yeah, okay, so she was from Richmond. Yeah. Um, and I believe they met in France because she was studying art there. Very interesting. And, and I believe that um, they actually came to Virginia shortly before World War One, uh, World War Two, excuse me. And uh, because of the war, they ended up having to stay the entirety of the war uh, before they were able to go back to France. And then um, they later decided that they wanted to come back and live in Virginia. Right. And um, he was a professor at a local university, right? Yes. And which words were those? Uh, Randolph Macon College and the University of Lynchburg. Oh, wasn't one of our other artists, it's Queen of Stovall, who yes. went to Randolph-Macon. Yes, and we had I a mean, show with her and Harriet French Turner a couple of months ago, or several months ago. But yes, as we mentioned in that show, uh, Queen of Stovall was studying with the artist at Randolph-Macon, but he actually told her to just continue her own way but taking classes. So he really encouraged her to stay um, working in her naive folk art style rather than learn the tradition, which is interesting. It's really interesting for a teacher to tell you to stop taking classes and just right. keep going how you're doing. He must, yeah, he seemed to have really enjoyed her uh, independence of spirit and, and her own voice and just wanted her to continue with that. And speaking of personal uh, relationships that you mentioned earlier, uh, we even have as part of the Outside Eyes schema, one of his relatives, his nephew, wrote about the work. Yeah, yeah, um, I would love to read that. Yeah. So um, the nephew is Louis Blair. And um, he writes, quote, When I look at the image, I see a sad old man with a cane over his arm, bathed in brilliant hues. What I feel is the artist as I know him as Uncle Pierre, kind, affectionate, humorous, overflowing with love for his wife and daughter, and pride in her achievements, generous. He always had time for company. I remember the meals at table, and the aromas of fresh baked French bread. In my mind, I see only sparkling eyes and warm smiles. Um, so that's a really lovely yes. testament to his uncle. And this was actually a gift to the museum by Martha, his daughter. And that um, reminds me as well, uh, his commitment to the region has really had a lot of uh, long-standing effects. The University of Georgia at Athens, for example, a lot of other university art museums in Virginia, and then the Taubman too, we have several works by him. So a lot of his works have been either given by members of his family or in bulk to a lot of Virginia institutions and other institutions in the Southeast. What a great addition to yes. the arts in the region. Yes. Fantastic. Well, thank you for joining us today, friends, for thank this you. Art Spotlight, and we'll see you next time.